Hello friend, welcome back. If you are new, my name is Christine. This is kind of embarrassing, but I do feel like I need to make a video on it because last summer I grew all of these tomatoes. There are so many more in my basement that I need to bring up and deal with. And I've just been afraid to basically process these tomatoes. So they've been in my freezer. It's the end of February. These need to get addressed because it's almost time to start thinking about this year's garden. And I still have all of these tomatoes taking up a ton of space in the freezer. I'm afraid to can them. I did buy a water bath canner. And to be just honest, I think I've just been paralyzed because I'm afraid to can them. So I need to deal with these. I'm going to take an alternative route and process them and put them in Ziploc freezer bags and just lay them flat, stack them up and stick them in the freezer for future use. But I'm going to bring you along with me on this journey. I'm not sure what it's going to look like. This might be a little bit longer of a video than what I typically do and we'll see. So first of all, let me go downstairs to my basement. I think it's gonna be a couple more trips up of bringing up all of the tomatoes that I have in my freezers. These are all aromas, so that's good. Oh my God. I don't know if this is embarrassing or if I should feel proud that I grew this many tomatoes, but it's almost March and I haven't <laughs> dealt with them yet. Pretty. Okay, the pile is growing, but I'm at the end here. Oh my God, this is a big bag. Okay, that is all of the tomatoes. Now I need to figure out what I'm going to do next. Just as a side note, I grew one Super Sweet 100 tomato plant, which is what all of these little tomatoes are. I take that back. I grew some other smaller tomatoes too. I grew some grape tomatoes in here that'll probably be in here. But the majority of the small round tomatoes are from the Super Sweet 100 plant. I grew one of those plants and it gave me so many of these little tomatoes. So I'm definitely going to grow another one this year because they're so prolific and they're so good but I'm just going to force myself to eat these, to put them in salads and use them on the daily because I don't know what I'm going to do with these now frozen because I have to peel them. And I'm not sure it's gonna be a lot of time for a little bit of tomato, but I didn't know what else to do with them. So I stuck them in the freezer. My plan now is I think I'm going to start by getting all of the tomatoes out and letting them somehow start thawing out here so I can peel the skins off. That's where also I'd like to note where I went wrong in this whole process is I should have cored and skinned them before I froze them. So I'm really sorry that I didn't do that and I am paying the price now because now I have to thaw these all out and get the skins off and get them cored. I'm not really sure. I'm really overwhelmed right now. And if I get them all out and they start thawing, it's just gonna be a bunch of water everywhere. So as Becky from Acre Homestead says, I need an easy win right now. So for me, that easy win is going to be getting these peeled and cored after I let them thaw for a little bit. You know what? I think I purchased these Romas and these really big ones. I did not grow these. I believe I purchased these from a local farmer's market near my house, FYI. So I take it back that I did not officially grow all of these. And I did not have the success of these giant tomatoes. I can't take credit for them. 
these I grew for sure. Okay, I'm going to call this a start and I want to see if they're easy to peel and core just like, you know, without any hot water and get some tomatoes going. Since I'm going to be storing them in Ziploc freezer bags, I think I'm going to add onions and garlic to this process. I haven't decided yet. We'll see. I'll decide a little bit later. We'll be back. Okay, friends, it's a little bit later. I'm still waiting for all of the tomatoes to thaw, but I thought while that's happening, I am going to go ahead and cut up a bunch of onions. I also have a bunch of garlic to use up. I still have homegrown garlic, so I'm going to go ahead and do that while I'm waiting. I'm starting out with four onions. I'm not sure how much I'm going to need, so we'll see. If I need more, I can always cut up more onions, and if I have too many, I need some for dinner tonight. So if I have too much onion and garlic cut up, that's fine. I can always use them in future recipes. Here are all of the onions. Let's move on to the garlic. This is all three bulbs of garlic. Like I said, if I use them all, that's fine. And if not, I need it for a recipe for dinner tonight and can use it throughout the week. I can also link my pole chopper down below. It is one of my very favorite, most used kitchen gadgets. Okay, it's been a few hours. A lot of these are still really frozen, but let's just see what we're dealing with. And if we can core, oh yeah, this is nice. I was hoping that as they thawed, they would peel nice and easy and I could get the core out easily. So this is perfect. I just need one more pot. I've got my giant pot. Okay, so this part is going to be tedious, so I won't make you suffer through it all because it's going to be not only tedious, but it's going to take me some time. So I'm going to do what I just showed you, core and peel. I have a little cutting board set up here. I don't know if you can see it. It's nice that these are still frozen like this because they're not watery. I'm sure though, as we go on, <laughs> that may change, but you can't see this part. This My big stock pot that I just showed you is off to the side over here. So I'm just coring, peeling, cutting, and into the big pot. Okay, here's an update on where I'm at. I have this whole, I don't know how many quarts this is, but it is huge, full of tomatoes. I have not added any of the onions or garlic yet, but I am going to start cooking this down and I'll add salt and pepper and the onions and garlic and get this going. And then I just want to show you what I have left to process. It's dark out now. <laughs> Some time has elapsed. I have this glove on this one hand because I cut my finger really badly in the process of this. So there was a little delay, but I have it bandaged up really, really well and inside a glove. So I'm good now. It just hurts really bad, but I'm moving on because I'm determined to get this done tonight. This is what I have left to process. So not bad. This is less than half of what I've already done, so that's good. And it's not taking me that long. I've developed a system and it's going quickly now. So I just keep stirring it as it is getting heated up. And it has already gone down a little bit. I still haven't added in seasonings or the onions and garlic. I will show you that when I do it. 
This is what our first batch is looking like. I'm just continuing to stir it while I'm processing the other tomatoes. Just letting it cook down a little bit. It's looking really beautiful. I will be skimming off the foam as I go along. FYI. Now I'm just going in with some salt. A little bit of pepper. And the onions. I'm going to go with two cups for this and the garlic. And I'm just going to give this a stir and let this continue cooking down. And I will continue to skim the foam off the top as needed. I'll be back. Okay, so this is where I am leaving off for today. I'm going to revisit this tomorrow. So I have a cold room that is the same as the temperature outside, which is really cold out right now. So I'm not worried about that. But this, you can see how much it cooked down. And I'm going to let this cook down a little bit more. I will let it cool off and then I'm going to put it in my cold room. And then this is the other one that I just prepared. So I'm just going to get this stirred in and also put this in my cold room. And tomorrow I will start packaging up that. And as soon as I get that pot cleared off, this will go in here and we will continue on the process. So I'm just going to wrap this up for today, continue getting my kitchen cleaned up, which is quite the mess. I've cleaned it up a little bit, but I've still got a ways to go. As you can see, this is taking a lot longer than I thought, so we will be back tomorrow. Good morning, friend. It's a new day. The hard part is over, and we are ready to continue on with this tomato processing project. I've got my coffee. Let's get back to it. And even though this is by no means perfect, I have had a chance to do a mini reset cleanup of the kitchen. And so, like I said, the messy part is over. I have a clean slate to start with, and that just feels a whole lot better. So I'm just going to get all my bags set up for starters. I'm not sure how many I'm going to need. Also, I tasted this last night just with a little bit of pasta and I put some Parmesan cheese on it. It is phenomenal. So, so far, I just want to say whatever work I put into this to this point, it has been totally worth it. Also, this is the consistency of my sauce I just wanted to show you. So it's on the thinner side, but this is how I like it. I can also thicken it on the other end, like when I cook with it. I can also cook it down in sauces and chili and things like that. If you don't like your sauce this thin or whatever we're calling this, I'm calling this a cross between crushed tomatoes and tomato sauce. But if you don't like it, just keep cooking it down. You can see how much I cooked it down. The water will just keep evaporating and it'll just keep thickening the longer you cook it. kind of scary because I thought that was just going to fall over. I think as I fill them, I'm just going to close them up to avert any disasters. So I'm just filling them and laying them down. I'll show you after what they look like over here. I also want to see if any of them leak or how this goes down. I'm so nervous. Okay, I think I'm going to change up that because I still think that's going to make a mess. I'm just going to keep experimenting until I find a system that works. Now I'm going to try this. I'm already making a mess. I don't like this way. Okay, I don't like that. 
Oh my God, my bag is leaking. Oh my God, what am I gonna do? Let's see if this one leaks. This seemed like this part was going to go so smoothly, didn't it? Oh my God, my bags are leaking. Plan B. We need a new plan. And just like that, I have a couple messes going on from these bags. I think what happened was by shoving these up into these clips that I messed with the integrity of the bag. Don't use the stands for this. Okay, now let me just try a brand new bag and see if it works. doesn't. So I do think that was the problem. So we are just going to continue on without the bag stands. Now I'm just going to get my next batch cooking down. So here is our second batch cooking. I'm just going to cook it down, strain off the foam, and after it cools down, we can get it bagged up. While I am waiting for that, let me just show you what we have so far. So we have effectively nine quarts with that first pot that we just did. I am going to get these in the freezer because it is going to be a while before we get to that pot that I just showed you and I don't want them sitting out. I'm just going to get these in the freezer, but so far that's nine. Okay, it is much later. It has taken a long time for this to cool down, so I just moved on to other projects. Oh, in the process, I have some new bags. So now we are going with Ziplocs. Oh my God, well that didn't go well. Okay, well that was not a good start to round two here, so <laughs> we're going to clean this up. I'm going to leave it in so you can see the reality of the situation going on here. Maybe I should have just stuck with my old bags. I'm just going to do this one piece. Let's try this again. <laughs> my light is going on and off, spilling everything. That's better. Let's see. Good, okay. This last one is just shy of a quart, so I noted that on there. We're done. So I'm done. I can't believe I'm done. So we have just shy of 16 quarts. The question to me is that I asked myself is was all of this worth it? And just based on how this tastes, I already am going to say absolutely yes. Will I do it again this year and plant this many tomatoes? Part of me says I don't think so, but we'll see. I have some other plans for the garden, so I just don't know. This still was really fun and a great way to preserve up my tomato harvest. So I am really, really happy with it and pleased how it turned out. Let me show you how everything is looking in the freezer. So here are all the tomatoes. Once everything is nice and frozen, I will just probably make one stack out of everything so that I can make more room here in the freezer, but just wanted to show you, here are all the tomatoes that we did. 
I just want to say thanks for hanging out with me in my kitchen for these past two days. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I can pop a couple more videos right here for you to check out between now and my next upload. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. It's free. I upload every other day and I can't wait to see you next time.